All right, so this is for YouTube. So we're going over some training games here as I have training sessions where after I've studied, after I've studied, I play games. So I can play 5-0, 3-0. Honestly, for me, I'm just to a point where, you know, I've learned from Roman DJ has really that you can use Blitz games in a way that can help you and uh, analyze stuff as well. So um, these are 3-0 games, three-minute games that I've played, and uh, we're going to cover three of them. So uh, three of them that I was like, these are sweet. Now, everybody I was playing, um, I was always to over 2,500 Blitz here. So everybody I'm playing is like 25, 2,400 in between here. So pretty good stuff. Let's see what happens. I love you do analysis. I'm so excited. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Welcome to the stream again. Hi, YouTube. What's up, Light Knight? Do you have a video about defending against the D4 opening? I do. Just go to YouTube, scroll, big fella, find you one. That's how we go. So um, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'll, in this game, first off, I'm playing white. I'm playing white. Let me actually get get the stats here again. Pull up game one. So in this game, I'm playing white. This guy and the guy I'm playing was playing black. At this time, the rating was 25, 26 for me. His rating 25, 34. So I'm playing white. And here we go. I go E4. I don't play anything else. So we know what this is, especially when I'm locked in. I'm like in the zone. I'm like, I'm about to play for real here. Saber out, hood on, ready to go. I see everything, right? So I'm just ready to go here. Thanks for the follow, Arch Fury. So um, I go E4. So I'm ready. I'm in the zone. I'm like at the computer screen, super close like this. You can see my face. It's like I'm I'm there, right? So E4, C5. I hit him with C3 Cecile for the kill. Like we always do because we don't do nothing else. C3 for Cecile for the kill. Terry Flaps, thanks for the follow. So after that, he hits me with D5. D5 is a good move. You got so many other moves you can make. D5, you got Knight F6, you have everything. Absolutely, Mildap. C3 to seal for the kill. Everybody knows it. This is actually going to be like part four. And then we're going to do separate videos for the other ones because we got our little series going. C3 to seal for the kill. This is going to the series right here. So E4, C5, and C3, D5. So after this D5 move, it is absolutely a move. You also have Knight F6, you have E6. There's so many moves here. I've been playing this opening so long. Like D5 is a respectable move. But you have to play it correctly. And there's a lot of tricky lines here that I love because the queen's out early. So queen takes d5. I always go d4. Um, and you have many ways you can do it. You can take. You can play g6. You can play e6. You can play knight f6. You can play knight c6. So many ways you can play this, right? Now, here we go. Okay. Knight to c6. Okay. I go knight f3, bishop g4. Now, what are you supposed to play here is white? Anybody in the chat, what are you supposed to play here is white? What are you supposed to play here? Please, Andrew says we in here. That's right. We are in here right now. Bishop to F2. Quinn jumping off the deep end already making illegal moves. That's okay, but I know what you mean. There it is. He says Bishop E2. Correct. Bishop E2, Bishop E2, Bishop E2s. Bishop E2s everywhere. But is Knight A3 a move? Knight A3 is a move, but it's the best when they play the G6 lines. So Knight A3 I usually don't do unless they're playing G6 lines. Then I'll play Knight A3. At the at the right moment. So Bishop E2. Hey, Heat Miser, what's up, big fella? Welcome to the stream. Good to see Heat Miser here. H3, H3, Knight D2. So here we go, guys. I'll tell you what it is. If you will C3 to seal for the kill, actually, Anon has has a game like this as white. And I was like, oh man, Anon played this. It's pretty cool to watch Anon play your favorite opening, right? So it's actually supposed to be Bishop E2. Now, this is straight up, guys, a ridiculous mouse slip. I play bishop d3 and I'm sitting here with my hand on my forehead like what just happened here? This is not a move. But at the same time, it's actually, it's not terrible. Like there's tactics and stuff. But this was not what I was trying to do. Bishop d3. I'm like bishop, <laughs> bishop d3. Um, I'm sitting here like, are you serious? Like, and when I'm, when I'm in the zone, when I'm like playing and you, we all, we've all been here. When you're having your sessions and you're on, you want to play some good chess, you're ready to go at it. And then you're like, dang, I made a mouse slip. Like, that can cost you points, especially I'm trying to, you know, I'm climbing the ladder. I'm trying to get to the 2600 life. You know, that's a good life up there. So I'm at 25 and some change here. And I'm like, bro, if I lose, that, that's points. That's points that I worked hard to get. So now I'm like, now I got to fight. Now I really got to fight, especially if he takes here, because honestly, that's like the best move. And after we trade, it looks kind of weird. Even though he can win this pawn, I've had lines where the bishop is just stronger. And because it's an open board, I'll show you like briefly how this stuff looks. Takes, takes, takes. The engine says that even though black's up a pawn, especially if I take this, I'm okay. But I'm not trying to play this. I, I, mean, I traded queens early on too. Like this is, people know that I don't be trading queens early on, especially unless I'm up. So this is just not, this is just not a move. And I was like, what did I get myself into here? It's a 3-0 game. I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. We got to keep playing. So 
Uh, Emil Dapp says, looks like some London tactics discover stuff. Correct. It looks like that. Mouse slip says, Light Knight uh, Fresh is laughing at me. Absolutely. Bishop D3, bro. And then he plays Knight F6. And I'm like, oh my goodness. The man played Knight F6. I don't know what he's going through. Maybe maybe he thought someone was here because I'm 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 as new as he is in this position. We both knew in this position, and he's uh has a better chance because I just don't know like what's going on here. So he played knight two f six, and I'm like, well, I gotta improvise now, guys. When you have to improvise, watch how this works, and this is gonna be so fun because this is one of my favorite games that I played in the training session. When I have training sessions, I do like 20, 30 games. And I analyze every single one of them, every single one of them. And I have to pick something from them, whether I won or lost. What did I win from it? What did I, what did I learn? Blah, blah, blah. Some stuff I forget, some stuff I don't, but you just, you, this is how you get better. Analyze the stuff. So knight to f6, what do you do as white? What do you, what is white's move here? What do you do now? No mistakes, only happy accidents. That's right, Quinn. I'm going to hang some stuff. I think you're missing the tactic. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. How does it cost to keep in person? My boy's a chess club in Vegas. How does it cost? Oh, to get me to teach in person? Oh, we can talk offline, Savage. That's, that's, that's a good question, actually. Especially for you, bro. Uh, King D2? Oh, Knight. I'm like, King D2, bro? What you mean? Rage quit. It's with an N. Because K is with King. So, Knight to D2. Okay. Castles. Knight B to D2. D2. C4 from drill to death. Bishop E3. Go back with Bishop E2. Okay. Bishop G5. Okay. So what I did here, get out the way. Yeah. <laughs> Cat C5, C4. Here we go, guys. I play C4. I play C4 here. Because I was like, well, now hopefully he doesn't go queen E6 check. But if he does, I still can go like bishop E2 and play tricky. I was going to play very tricky, even though I was giving up this pawn. I was going to try because the queen's weird on E6, which means he has to waste another tempo. This is the line I looked at. Like this, this is what I was looking, going for. At best play, because I'm like, yeah, he, this pawn I could probably get later, but his queen has to move, and maybe he has to go this route, but I at least got some kind of counterplay, bro. Maybe I can win this pawn later. I had ideas, so I was like, let's just go, because for me, I'm like, threats first. Threats first. I say this to my students all the time, like, threats first. So, especially if I'm in somewhere like, uh, I'm, in the, I'm in the jungle right now. I've never been in this position, because I made this mouse slip. Bishop d3, I'm on the... You know, I need to find my way back to civilization here. I have no idea, like, so what's going on. So I'm just like, well, threats first. Let's go off the head. C4 hit the queen. So the queen is, is threatened. If queen e6, I got this plan I just showed you guys. But if he doesn't, then I have an in-between move that actually helps out a lot and saves my position quite much. So he does. He goes queen to d8. I'm like, oh, okay, big fella, let's go. I'm feeling great here. So now what do you do with white? This is a very simple move, easy. D5 from Rav. I'm out. Have a good stream. All right, Savage. Peace out, man. Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out, bro. D5 from Blunderhope. Get out the way, says Mildap. D5, D5, Castle, D5. Here we go. Here we go. I played in this position D5. I played D5. Now, getting out the way is a move. Mildap is a move. And um, who else said Castle from Rules? So, Castle is a move. But the problem with Castle is that he just takes this. I would rather him just go here and me be still even as opposed to him taking it. So I just straight up lose a pawn for no reason. So d5 is the move. Okay, we're good to go. He goes here. Yes, yeah, quite awkward, but I have some tricks up my sleeve because I am a Jedi. I am a Jedi and I have to think here, use my mind. So after d5, he goes knight to d4. So now you have some options here, guys. And a lot of people, I guarantee, will play this very wrong. I was very, very I was excited about this game to show you guys because it was... um. It was very clever in my in my in my thinking here, and I was like, if this works, it's over. Like it's over quickly. So I had a plan here, knight to d4. Now you have to have a, a a legit plan here, guys, and see what you're going to do. What do you play now? White to move, knight to d4, and what do you play now? You can come up with your move, but you need to have a plan afterwards. So if you don't have a plan, the move doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Heatmeister says queen a4 that is a check. That is a check. Check, queen, check. Man, look at this. Queen a4 is a move. You guys loving queen a4 out here. Queen a4, queen a4. Knight to d2 for Mr. Charm. Queen a4, knight takes d2. b4 to remove the pawn. That's an interesting move. b4, huh? b4 is like crafty. That's crafty. That's very crafty, actually. Very crafty. Trout man, what's up, man? Half man, half trout. We in here, big fella. 
Welcome to the stream. Bird Trout is here, guys. Knight B to D2. Queen check. Nice, nice, guys. Nice. Queen A4, Knight D7, Knight D5. Okay. What about Bishop D7? This is the move you guys are missing now. Check Bishop D7. Where you go? Back to D1. I want more development in this position. A3. So uh, queen A3 or something. So let me tell you. Here we here we go. Here we go. Back it up. You know what? I'll give you guys uh, I'll give you guys a few more minutes actually. Oh, you know what? We we got one. Detna got it. Detna got it. It's bishop to E3. Now, Detna, can you tell me or anyone? Bishop E3 is my plan. I play not my plan, but I made this move because I have a plan in mind. Straight up. I got a plan if he goes this route. What is the plan, guys? What is the plan? Can anyone come up with the plan here? I always tell my students this all the time. You know, I'm plans, guys. Plans. You got to have these plans. When I make a move, I'm thinking about multiples. When I make a move, I'm not just thinking about one move. Sometimes I am because sometimes you may have to because you might be just on the verge of jumping off the deep end. But um, what is it? There you go, Mildap. There you go. That's correct. Look for threats. H3, Bishop E4. Yeah, Mildap knows. Thinking twos and fours. Great job. Bishop e4 with intentions of d6. Bishop e4 is here, so that's actually a hanging piece. It's actually a hanging piece here. Yo, 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 what's up, Nas? Welcome to the stream. Said, yo, 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 says Nas. How are you? I'll play bishop e3 because I'm going to take this knight. I'm going to take this knight. And I, I am anticipating him taking this on f3. So watch this, guys. This is what happens. He takes it. Actually, no, sorry. He plays e5. But if he takes it, which he, he ends up doing, I'll show you what happens. Because he actually played e5 first. And I was like, whoa, that's interesting. e5 was strong. I mean, the guy is 25, 36, something like that. He's strong. He played e5. I'm like, oh, I didn't even see that one. I did not expect that one. Because if I take this, then, you know, you just got a nice pawn center. Also threatening e4. I was like, dang. But then I can ampassant. And I was like, you know what? Just ampassant. Just Forget everything. I don't I don't even want to calculate this. I'm just going to take this pawn and get rid of it because it's annoying. So he did take on F3. I have to take with the pawn here. And then he takes back here. Now, guys, this is where it's about to get absolutely crazy right here. First off, I developed. He went bishop e7. What do you do at this point? White to move, guys. Find a plan. I don't want one move. I want, I want two or three moves. Give me a plan. Give me a plan here for white. What are you doing? Give me two to three moves. Why not check first after, after ampassant? Because it's not enough. It's just a temporary check. Bishop e4 from the Leo. Bishop e4 is good, but what's your follow-up? What's your follow-up? And, and actually, no, it's just not good. It's a move is what I mean, but it's not a move. I have no idea, says Light Knight. That's okay. That's why you're here today with the Jedi. Queen C2 and F4 from Admiral. G1 looks weak. Okay. How to attack G7, which is right here. They say G1 looks weak. Um, F4 and Queen F3 from Tech Gambino. That's this That's this plan right here. Okay. Queen C2. Castle Queen side. Rook G1. There we go. Shout out to... Who is this? Matias F. That's the straight, straight up plan. That's it. Nothing else to do. Queen, queen E2 from Christopher James. Queen C2 from Rob B. Yes, it's Queen C2. Now, the difference between these two moves, Queen E2 is I can't really do much. But Queen C2, I'm at least aiming over here. And I was saying to myself that if I'm aiming, I'm at least like I'm, I'm aiming. Do you know? That's why timing is very impeccable when it comes to chess sometimes. Because if you go Queen E2 and he goes for castle, I'm about to show you guys a sequence here that's very nice. But it doesn't work if my queen's on E2. So I have to move it a second time. So I always tell my students this too about future thinking. Like if I'm going to put this here, am I really going to have to move this later on? I probably am to get it active. So let me put it here so it's at least a little bit more active. And then maybe I can move it if I have to later. So queen to c2. I go queen to c2. He castles. <laughs> what am I to do? <laughs> well, thanks. Castle with tempo. Hitting here on h7, big fella. You are in trouble already because this rook about to come here. So I hit him with the tempo. I get the extra move. Thanks for the follow, Matias. And then uh, he goes queen a5. I'm like, automatic. I don't have anything else to do. Rook to g1. He goes a6. Now, at this point, I think this man has jumped off the deep end of the boat. 25, 36. He's very strong. But you cannot give up yet. And, man, this gets crazy. Now, what do you do? 
Oh yeah, if he cancels H7 is juicy. That's right. That's right. This is easy. This this is this move is quite easy. So first to get it. Rob B. Rob B first to get it. Absolutely. I mean King B1 is something you always have to do. Correct, but then I thought I thought about this Z Nation. I was like, yeah, you gotta go King B1, but the knight is defending A2. So temporarily I don't have to move my king right now and give him the extra move that he might need to slow down my attack and make his faster. So I don't need to do this because this is already defended. It'd be different if this wasn't defended. If it wasn't defended, then I might consider king b1. Um, knight's all good to death. That's right. Rook takes g7. That's a big boy move, admiral. It's just not enough. It's not ready. It's not ready. Bishop h6. Correct. Everyone that says bishop h6 is correct. I hit him with bishop h6. Hit him with the big boy move here. He played g6. White to move, guys. What are you going to do? He played g6. What? are you going to do white plays f4 from matias bishop takes f8 from light knight bishop takes g6 get him says z nation rook takes g7 not a move actually rook takes g6 but i know what you mean plays of glory take the rook rook takes g6 man rook takes g6 huh bishop takes g6 from blunder bishop takes g6 from tech gambino okay okay he switched it up sack sack mate from heat miser here we go Shout out to the big fellas that said bishop takes g6. Boom, I hit that man with a move. And you can hear the snap and the echo after you snap the piece from the other side of the computer screen. Snap, 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 snap. Bishop takes g7. I mean, g6. It was, I took it. Because if you take this, which he did, you are in trouble, big fella. Take this. He actually took the correct way. Because if you take, first off, this is what could happen. Oh, mate. Oh, my goodness. Get the man off the board. Give me those points, right? So... I, and this, I pre-moved it. I thought this was over, honestly. I thought it was over. I was like, oh, I got him. He 25, 36. Let's go. I'm on a rise to 2600. Let's go. Can't he, the Jedi, about to hit the land of the 26 today. And I'm like, let's go. I'm, uh, great game, right? Then he plays King F7. I was like, oh, snap. I can't make him right now. I can't. I did not see this move. This is one of those like, oh, I forgot he could do that. I, I didn't see this possibility at all. And you probably didn't either. King F7. So now it's like, well, what do you do? Now you got to finish this off. If there's a way to finish it. And if you can't finish it, you're actually down material for no reason. Not really no reason. You thought it was right, but you are down material at this point, which is huge if you do not figure out the attack. So what do you do as white? Or it takes knight from treatment. Rook f6, rook f6, rook g7, queen h7, h7. All right, resign because I'm terrible. So here we go, guys. Actually, what I was supposed to do was rook takes f6, followed by queen h7. But I didn't see the follow-up after king to e8, but the engine says rook to d6 is the follow-up. So how that looks is like this. This is what it, I was supposed to do. I didn't go this route but because I didn't see this move. And I, I honestly still don't see this being like... I just don't see the mate yet. It just feels weird, right? So... I'm like, it is not, I just don't see the mate yet. You know, I'm winning all this material, but I'm looking for mate. So I didn't go this route because I, I'm like, I just don't feel it. So what I did was the secondary line from the engine, which is Rook to G7. So shout out to you if you said Rook to G7. And for, it's not mate yet, Mildat, but he did go King to E8. And King to E8, I at least felt more comfortable here because at least instead of my Rook on a 6th, I have it on a 7th, which is increased pressure. You know, all kind of stuff happens with a Rook on a 7th rank. We know that. So I, I went this way. But I have to keep the pressure up. If you do anything to not keep the pressure up, and this is like attacking 101. If you start attacking somebody like this, as soon as you make a move like, oh, King B1, you just resign. Like you probably messed this up and you might not get it anymore because I can make a defensive move that probably wasn't there before because you did not stay on me. So you have to stay on them quickly. It's not a move. You have to make a move that is attacking. So what do you do now as white? Rook to G7, King E8. I have to keep threats first. What do I do, big fella? Rook to e1 from Quinn. Pin the bishop with the rook. Queen e2. Okay, great. These are threats. You're thinking correctly. You're thinking like the Jedi does. Absolutely. Queen takes h7. Okay, that's a move. But I don't want to jump off the deep end, and I do value my life. So queen takes h7 is just not a move. Um, queen e2, rook e1. Oh, the knight. It's okay, Blunder Hope. That's okay. That's all right. That's why we're here for you. That's why we're here. Queen takes h7. Knight d5. Okay, 
Here we go. Shout out to you. Rookie one. Absolutely. Everybody got it right. Everybody said rookie one. Quinn says, it's all right, bro. That's all right. Value in your life is good, says the nation. Right. So rook to E1. I hit him with rookie one because it's a legit threat here. And I also noticed that here, you know, I could play queen E2. I could play other moves too. But rookie one, I noticed that if he moves the bishop, I can take the other one. So if he happens to find a move to move his bishop, I can at least take with check and get my material back. Because remember, I sacked the bishop. Always keep material count. Don't be like J.R. Smith out here and forget what the score is and don't know what's going on. And you're like, oh, snap. Oh, I am oh I didn't know the score. And then you try to sack another piece and lose because you don't know what the count is. I remember I sacked the bishop. So because I sacked the bishop, if I get a bishop back, I'm at least winning much better here. Queen b6 response from black. Shout out to Mildap. That's actually the move here. Absolutely. Queen to b6. I love how you always throw in shade. Oh, absolutely. Fresh. Absolutely. You have to know. Because that's a huge, that's a huge one. Like, you got to, he forgot the score. And same thing in chess. If you forget the score, you're going to be, oh, let's just trade. And you're like, oh, shoot, I shouldn't have trade. Dang, I probably should have kept that piece forever. Absolutely. It happens all the time. Is queen a4 not a move? It's not that it's not a move. It's just not the best move. And, and for, by far, because now we, we trade in, which he would love. Most informative chess I've ever watched. Thanks, Robot Smoke. Welcome to the stream, big fella. That's what we do all the time. Thanks, Rage Quit. Um, hi, everyone. What's up, Scourge? Welcome. So, Rook to E1. He goes, actually, no. Sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad, Mildap. He actually went Bishop F7 first. He went Bishop F7, but Queen B6. Why didn't he go Queen B6? I don't remember. I thought he did. No, he did. He he did. He went Queen B6. He went Queen B6 afterwards. So, I went Bishop F7. Thanks for the follows, guys. Oh, snap. 95. Get the stretcher. Oh, Mildap. Stretcher. Send him out on the stretcher, right? Oh, man. Watch this move. Watch this move, right? So, I don't... What do you play right now? First off, guys. What do you do right now? White to move. What are you going to play? White to move. Oh, 95 at the Queen B6 is what I was thinking. Says Z Nation. Rook to G5. Rook G5. What else? What else? What else? This guy actually very smart with his defense, even though he's in trouble. Correct. I mean, he's 25-36. His defense is probably pretty good. I knew this man was a monster, and his defense is pretty solid, but his king is in the center here. Queen e2, it's just not strong enough. Queen f5, queen e2, not strong enough, guys. Not strong enough. Queen e4, not, I mean, well, you can jump off the deep end all you like, Admiral. We just didn't do queen e4, big fella. Queen e4. And then just hit resign, probably exit out of that browser as soon as you make that move. Rook to E, Rook takes E7, check. Nobody said it yet. I still have not seen the move. Knight G5, Knight G5? Is that Rook G5? Oh, is that an R? It might be an R left hand. There it is. Bishop G5 found it right there. Hate Miser says Queen F5. Bishop G5. That's it, guys. Thanks for the follow, Robot Smoke. Bishop G5, because again, what did I tell you guys? Threats. Keep the threats up. Keep the threats up. Bam. Now, I, I got another threat on the board. Another one. A threat inside a threat. If you move tonight, I take the bishop. If you don't move anything, I'm taking this. So uh, And I'm also threatening maybe in some cases rook takes e7 and get a lot of material back. So I knew this was coming. So now he's all in a bind here. He's in a bind. So at this moment, he played queen to b6. Boom. After queen to b6, I hit this man with a move that he will never forget. White to move. I hit this man with a move. Queen b6, 95. You are correct. Z Nation actually got it first because he was the first one to say it before we even got here. He's correct. Shout out to all you guys. Knight to d5. Knight to d5. I even I posted this in the Discord. If you're in the Discord, if you're not, go to the Discord too. Actually, I think this is one of the games I posted the other night when I was playing in it. I posted it on Discord. I also did it on Twitter too. So follow me on Twitter. Uh, but I did uh, I posted it on Discord and, and Twitter. Knight to d5. Lean back. Lean back hard. Real hard. Stare at him. Flex. Flex at the screen like he's looking at you. Real hard. Real hard. Send a stretcher, says Rob B. Absolutely. Send a stretcher right here. There go mine. Them boys sent. That's right. That's right. Knight to d5. Hitting the queen. The knight is pinned. I mean, what, bro, this was such a great move. It was such... I love this move so much. Because, of course, if bishop... You can't take with the bishop, right? We can't take with the bishop for obvious reasons. Okay? The queen is still hit. I'm also hitting this as well. I'm hitting this. It's a legit threat. He resigned. Yeah, he resigned right here. But knight takes is the only move. And after knight takes, I just simply take back. And I have so much pressure here. It is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. D6 is coming next. I mean, the only way to defend this is by giving up the queen, which who wants to face this anymore? Like nobody wants to do this. So that was it. That was the end of this game. 25-36 ended in 23 moves. Again, after a blunder, a mouse slip in the beginning, right? Takes D4, knight F3. 
bishop d3, knight of 6, c4, d5, bishop e3. And he did this move, and I'm like, oh, you know what? I know which way I'm going. So I went knight c3, queen c2, got out the way. He like queen a5, I'm like rook g1. He went a6, I'm like, that's not a move. Bishop h6, hit him with the move. Then I hit him with the other move. Oh my goodness, whoa, he didn't see that. Wow, hit him with the move. Rook takes g6, hit him one more time, big fella. Shout out to Tao. King f7, rook g7, king e8, rook e1. Hit him right here. Bishop f7, bishop g5, attacking everywhere. Knight d5, oh my goodness, get the man off the board. And that was it. And that was it. Black did play some weak moves when he could have had some serious pressure after that opening. Um, I mean, yeah, actually he did. He played some weak moves out the opening because that's just how he got this position. But it's crazy that, you know, think about this. The guy was rated 25-36. So the man is still solid, very strong, even in weakness, in weak positions. So you will play Bishop D3 OTB now? Ha, 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 that was funny. Tech Gambino. Absolutely not. That was great. C3 Cecile Canty variation. Absolutely. And that's the C3 Cecile for the kill.